Russia has accused Ukraine of trying to carry out armed assaults in Crimea. Vladimir Putin says the Ukraine is plotting terrorist attacks on Russian territory. Howard Gutman is with us. He's a former U.S. ambassador to Belgium. <laughs> Mr. Ambassador, this sounds ominous. Borders are shifting in that area. Military vehicles on the move. Do you think that uh, Putin is tweaking Mr. Obama right before the election? Well, Stuart, you said the world is a reality show, and Mr. Putin is one of the leading players in that reality show. But the problem is no one is sure where this reality show ends up, uh, and even if uh, anyone can control it. So I do think Putin is tweaking several things. First, uh, at the beginning of September was supposed to be the peace talks, France, Germany, Ukraine, and Russia. He has just torpedoed those, and I think he is uh, testing how far he can reach with both the U.S. and a little bit of limbo with the election, and perhaps with Europe and some instability between terrorism and Brexit. If he did something, something aggressive with his military in Ukraine, would that help Donald Trump or hurt Donald Trump? Because we've had this, the, the Trump-Putin relationship talk. You know, with the bro-fest going on between Trump and Putin, maybe Trump just calls his old buddy and says, Vladdy, can you knock it off? And he becomes a hero. But my sense is most of the serious thinkers believe that talk was damaging, yeah. and this shows that it's real. It's about lives in Ukraine, and it's about threats to the world. Do you think something's going on? I mean, something's going to happen, you think? I, I fear that every day, that the, ultimately there are a lot of outsiders who could try to play a role in this election. We saw it with the cyber issues. Uh, and between now and November, I will breathe easier if November passes and there's no foreign interference. O overall, would you say that we're being played? Uh, three months to an election, we're being played by Putin. Well, he may be attempting to play us. It's a real, uh, Barack Obama is a hard guy to play, and the U.S. military and intelligence community are hard to play, but that won't stop Vladimir Putin from trying to play. Got it. Howard Gutman, thank you very much for joining us on an important but forgotten story. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you.